Vice President Kamala Harris slamming Florida's controversial new education standards on black history and growing reaction now across the country. ABC's White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks joins us from the North Lawn with more. Mary Alice, good morning. Good morning. We've seen some schools, parents, civil rights leaders, and now the White House, too, speaking out against these new curriculum changes in Florida, calling them revisionist and a disservice to students. This is unnecessary to debate whether enslaved people benefited from slavery. Are you kidding me? This morning, Florida's Board of Education under fire after passing new curriculum standards that educators in the state and across the country say try to gloss over the horrors of slavery in the United States. Included in the new guidelines, a requirement that middle school students be taught, quote, how slaves developed skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. As some teachers and civil rights leaders blasted the new standards, the vice president traveling to the state to rally against them, too. Adults know what slavery really involved. It involved some of the worst examples of, of, of depriving people of humanity in our world. Florida's Education Association, a major teachers union, writing in a statement that at the high school level, these standards conflate the 1920 Ocoee massacre where at least 30 African Americans were killed for attempting to vote with acts of violence perpetrated by African Americans. Florida's governor and Republican 2024 presidential candidate Ron DeSantis praising the new standards. Things, but these are the vo most robust standards in African-American history, probably anywhere in the country. Florida Republican State Representative Bernie Jacques agreeing, arguing the fight is overblown. No one is sugarcoating the idea of slavery. We're committed to teaching all of the history, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. But at the Board of Education meeting earlier this week, community members and parents begged the group to not go through with these changes. Do not, for the love of God, tell kids that slavery was beneficial because I can guarantee you it most certainly was not. And of course, these latest changes come after earlier this year, Governor Ron DeSantis also banned the teaching of an AP course on African-American studies. And it's not just in Florida. We've seen other Republican-led states around the country weighing potential new restrictions on how teachers can talk about race in the classroom and key aspects of U.S. history. Janae? Really incredible what we are watching unfold there. Mary Alice, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.